So one of my favorite ways to catch smallmouth is burning a spinner bait. What a lot of people don't understand though is there's a lot to that technique. I mean, if you're hooking big smallmouth, um, you know, they're hard to land, they can be. So I've got a whole system that I think really helps in doing it. So it's the bait, it's the rod reel, the line, the whole the whole deal. So first, um, I like the Strike King uh, Scorcher spinner bait. So this is a spinner bait built for speed. If When I say burning a spinner bait, I mean, that spinner bait needs to be smoking, you, you know, right underneath the surface in shallow water. If it's a little deeper, you can let it get down. You want the fish looking up at it so that that spinner bait is broke up by the mirror image of the surface or the wind and the waves. That's why you want to keep it high in the water column and you want to keep it moving fast so all they see is the flash and movement. You know, I'm going to choose, you know, more natural colors in shallower water and brighter colors in deeper water. I want them to be able to see it from a long ways away. I'm still going to keep it high in the water column even if it's deep. The key is it's got to be clear. You know, if you're going to burn a spinner bait, you can't do it in stained water. So this is a, a, a spinner bait, again, built for speed. It's got the razor blades on it. It's got a little heavier wire. It's more durable. And because of that heavier wire, it really keeps that bait, uh, you know, compact and, and allows you to reel it even faster. You have to have a trailer hook. Uh, this particular spinner bait comes with one pre-rigged right from the package. They're only available at Bass Pro. It's a Strike King spinner bait that we do exclusively for them. It's one that I designed and it's it's for, exactly for this technique right here. Comes in a three eighths, a half ounce, and a three quarter ounce size. The you know really the bulk of the time I'm throwing uh, the half and the three quarter. So I've got it on 20 pound test floor carbon. You need 20 pound because you want to make really long casts. And when you get a bite out there at the end of that cast, which happens a lot of the time, you really got to have that heavy low stretch line to get the hook into them and to keep them on. I'm going to throw a big rod. You know, I've, I've got a GC7 right here, a GC7 or a GC8 Lose KVD Tour Series. It's a 7.4 heavy or a, a 7.6 heavy you know it's got some tip to it so you can make a really long cast but more importantly when you get that bite you can set the hook and move a lot of line with it so long rod long cast a lot of power lose hyper mag reel eight three to one gear ratio it just makes it a lot easier to speed reel that and again when you get that bite to catch up to them real quick this system right here i have literally caught thousands of smallmouth on, on a spinner bait and it's really high percentage and it is so fun there's not a better bite that you can get because they don't just come up and just get it. I mean, they absolutely love to train wreck it. It's a reaction bite. And this, you know, setup right here really makes a big difference in really triggering those fish to, to strike. And they're very vicious when they do like that. So ton of fun burning the spinnerbait for smallmouth.